made of like chocolate bar and microwave. The microwave set, sets up a standard, a standing wave, and then you can measure the wavelength from peak to peak, and then you, get, you need to find out the frequency, which is how many waves pass per second. And then you've got the frequency times the wavelength equals speed. And um, so, so that would make the equation the speed of light equals nu times, which is the frequency times lambda, which is the wavelength. And the frequency for this microwave, which is like most other microwaves, is that's wrong. No. The frequency is 2.45 gigahertz. And um the wavelength is of about four inches. How does how you measure the speed of light with a chocolate bar? This chocolate bar is longer than four inches, so you can do this. It shows you that it's longer than four inches, more like seven inches. So we're going to be using this chocolate bar in the microwave today. Oh, delicious. Right now we're going to take out the bean plate to the microwave. The reason we take out the plate is because when it spins, it creates um so that it creates it so that the microwave is evenly cooking and there are no um peaks and troughs. Okay, time to put the chocolate in the microwave. Put it over here so it doesn't spin. Now we're going to put it in for five minutes. Won't really stay in that long, but it'll work. So, we rubbed in the circles so you can see them. And um, you want to measure from the middle of each circle, which is the peak. So, because it's the hottest place. And then, um, so, you measure from peak to peak, and it's about four inches, which is good. Which means, I did it correctly. It's time to eat the chocolate, right? Right. How do I put a steel bite with a chocolate bar? Delicious.